I'm Blake, President of Master Wholesale. Today we're here to look at the different ways that there are to stone tile. We're going to look at the uh, you know more traditional way, 60 grit uh, white stone, uh, diamond resin pad, 70 grit, and then the uh, Edgecraft diamond file, which comes with three different grits. We'll be using the coarse grit. And so basically what we're going to be doing is uh, using these to put the bevel and smooth out this edge right here um, so that if it's meeting up against metal or whatever that you're going to see a nice clean edge. We'll show you a picture of that after we're done. So we'll go ahead and get into doing that here in a few seconds. Okay, so um, today what we're going to be looking at doing is uh, stoning a tile. Um, basically you can see the bevel that's um, in this natural stone. A lot of natural stones come with that bevel so when you make a cut that bevel needs to get put back in there, especially if this is going up against a piece of metal like Schluter or up against another piece of tile where it's going to be seen. You don't want to have this jagged edge like this. So um, the other thing we're going to show you here is that it's the same thing. This is natural stone here and then this we're also going to show you how to stone porcelain tile. This porcelain tile has a bevel on it. You can see that we've cut it. It's fairly jagged. We're going to show you how to remove that so then when you match it up to a uh, trim or the cut is out in the open that you're not uh, seeing a big jagged edge go down. Okay, so we're going to take the uh, Edgecraft diamond file. We're going to start with the uh, coarse grit and you can see this rough edge we got here. We're going to first we're going to smooth out the edge here and then we're going to put the bevel back onto that. I'm going to hold it at a about a 45 degree down. With the uh, coarse grit, we've removed all the rough stuff here on this side, um, put the bevel back on. As you can see, um, the natural stone, we have a nice, clean, crisp line here, no, no jagged edge, it looks really good. Okay, so the first tile we did was a uh, natural stone. This piece is a, a piece of porcelain. It's a lot harder than that is. Um, on this piece here, we're just going to bevel the edge so that, um, or stone the edge, so that it, when it matches up to another tile or to uh, a piece of metal that you're not seeing this jagged edge we got going. So we'll go ahead and use our coarse grit on this. Okay, as you can see, we got a nice clean edge after we uh, filed that down. Um, so this is a very important step in doing your installation is getting that bevel on there and cleaning that edge up. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to use a 70 grit uh, diamond resin hand pad to put the bevel back on the stone or to stone the stone. This is natural stone we're working with here, so we'll go ahead and get it real quick. on there. Okay, and it's the same thing on the stone piece. You can see it's a nice clean edge as it meets the metal um, or it would be the same thing if it's meeting the tile. Um, now, now we've got a piece of porcelain. We're going to go ahead and put the bevel on it as well using the 70 grit hand pad. Okay, so you can you see that even though you know we didn't go cleaning up the whole edge because we were looking for a polished edge, that we have a nice straight line when it meets the uh, meets the metal there, and that's what we're looking for with putting that bevel back on there. Okay, we're going to take our uh, 60 grit hand stone, and then we're going to go ahead and put the bevel on here. And like I said, the main thing we're trying to do is not so much take the bumps out here but put the bevel on here so that when it meets up against a piece of another stone or a piece of metal that it shows a nice straight line. I am removing some of the bigger 
chunks that are on this piece here, it was broken with a mechanical tile cutter, so we want to get rid of those bumps so that when it meets up to the to the uh, thing, it's all flush. And a nice little bevel there. I'll try and show you what that looks like. Nice clean line. Same thing, I'm just gonna take out a couple of larger bumps and then just put the bevel back on. As you can see, it gets you a nice clean line. All there's a fair amount of work that goes into the porcelain, the natural stone, the softer stone, it was a lot easier to use on. Okay, so the one that I like best out of all these is uh, the 70 grit hand pad. It definitely was way faster than the others. Um, although if you're trying to do a little bit of polishing, you just got a couple edges to do. The Edgecraft diamond file is uh, close second, but with the extra two grits that you get with this one, you can, you know, do a good enough job of polishing, um, especially on the softer stones to, you know, be able to do that. The uh, 60 grit worked really well on the softer stones. On the harder stones, you're going to spend a lot more time um, doing that. So, like I said, basically, overall, this is your guy. Um, I also like to mention you can also accomplish this with um, mechanical tools like grinders with uh, diamond resin pads and or sandpaper depending on what product you're working on. So um, that's if you're doing a lot, that's uh, probably a better way to be looking at doing it. But for do-it-yourself, you're not trying to spend a lot of money, um, these are uh, the way to go.